You also do? You do, okay. That mostly hurt our buddy Lloyd here. Oh god, you only have 75 HP. Um, where's our new ability? Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Go, Macedons! Almost the maximum amount. <clears throat> Wait, balls. Is your. Your shirt's not triggered. Yeah, she will, apparently. Good God. I didn't know do a damn thing. Uh, if you're not a kineticist and you don't have a spirit blight ring, then you'll suffer in combat with incorporeal creatures, especially in a uh, dishonest one. Translation in Google, uh, Google Translate. Ah, thank you. Um. But anyways, uh, Collapses, how are you, buddy? Uh, that's all I got for you. I guess for you, we do more of this. Bada boom. Do another one. Almost got him. Oh, God. <laughs> He's almost got him. Okay, we still got Lloyd, so that's good. Oh, Mune. Okay, well, that works. That works. Um. Well, let's cast a mass. It's over. it is akin to an elusive prey it beckons to you then slips away then beckons again and escapes again not that i'm complaining but i doubt the inquisition will ever leave me alone and i am no more free now than i was when the other had me by the throat but that's all right i somehow managed to survive the last 10 years 
I suppose I shall survive a few more at least. All right, so many questions for you about the other one or more. Let's postpone this conversation until we are back at camp or somewhere else safe. Apologies, but I'm too exhausted now to talk about it. First, I need to convince myself that it's all over. There well, is one we have last to go. thing I'd like to tell you before we go. Even though things didn't work out as I should have liked, I'm still grateful to you. At least for liberating me from those otherworldly entities. I do not think anyone else in the entire world could have done that for me. And even if they could, I doubt they would have wanted to. It feels nice to no longer be a hole through which some supernatural monsters are trying to crawl into this world. As for what happens next, we shall have to wait and see. Okay. So, in our first playthrough, I messed up. I messed up in Darren's stuff royally. And causing me to have to choose between saving uh, Loiter or killing Darren. Though I think he still, I think uh, Loiter still died. <clears throat> so I've been trying to figure out, like, how do I save Darren? How do I save them both? He's still neutral evil. However, if I did things correct, did things correctly. We don't get really get anything out of this. Sure. No, that. So yeah, if we had, if we do things correctly, or if I did do things correctly, uh, he should turn lawful good, supposedly. Supposedly. All right, so now back to Dresden. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and enter city streets. We're going to talk to Darren. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, I need to go over here. Click out of that. Now I hope I didn't screw things. Uh, now hopefully, hopefully, I didn't screw anything up. Well, I have a number of questions. All right, <clears throat> so this is new stuff, so we're going to go ahead and go through this. <coughs> uh, do you know what the entity ha uh, yeah, entity haunting you is exactly? We called it the Other. Eh, it's not an entity, but entities. Though you may still call them the Other if you wish. It's a fitting name. I myself invented several hundred different names for them over the course of for, over our ten years together. Most of those were completely unutterable in any political society, of course. If you wish to know what exactly the thing was, I can't give you much more information. I'm afraid that they were countless. They were dead, and they all had some kind of joint consciousness. Like a swarm. A swarm of ghosts. One thing is certain. Those ghosts were not from our world. Did you volunteer, uh, voluntarily agree to all those conditions proposed by the other? I was absolutely voluntarily. If you forget about the demonic plague or the murderous Lila to orchestrating it, it was either that or certain death. Oh, I mean, he's got a point. Uh, what was it like um, uh, living with that? It was most certainly an unforgettable experience. In all seriousness, though, I'm not sure I'm ready to talk about it quite yet. The other have grown so deep into me. Uh, I still can't fully process the fact that the, the leash, the constant surveillance, is gone. Mind-altering realization in all sense of the world. Uh, why did the other behave so oddly, concealing their presence by any means possible while at the same time beheading demons and humans alike? 
I have the slightest clue. Absolutely no idea. They did not talk to me much, except for a few rare instances when they wanted to frighten me or make me do something for them. Not even sure about those heads. Uh, whether they actually killed anyone or simply found corpses and took the parts like they liked the most. I had plenty of time hypo um, uh, to hypothesize over the years, and I came up with several theories. I'm not sure if any of them are true, but I think the other were not hiding from us mortals. It looked more like they were afraid of gods and other powerful entities. It can't roam around this world without stumbling upon a cleric or a cultist, and those fellows are more than happy to pass the news on to their patrons. This might be the only reason the other not to reveal themselves around mortals. Although nobody was truly able to threaten their existence until they met the mythical commander of the Fifth Crusade. <laughs> yep, that's me. Uh, why didn't the other uh, uh, other come out to defend you before? After all, you found yourself in danger at multiple occasions on your travels with me. <laughs> this is certainly true. You are a source of endless danger and fun. As for as for your question, I took some precautions to vouch, uh, vouchsafe my life. A contract with Abadar's temple in the capital. It cost me several years worth of revenue from all my estates combined. <laughs> oh dear. Out of the contract, if I fail to make contact with the temple for a year, the cleric shall obligate, I shall be obligated to use their sacred magic to discover my fate and conduct a resurrection ritual should I should it turn out that I have met a premature end. The other they knew about it. Uh, like they knew about literally everything else that ever happened to me. I felt their presence, their otherworld, uh, their presence, their otherworldly scrutiny. As I negotiated the terms and signed the contract, the prospect of being denied their gateway for a year did not seem to perturb them. It seems provided that I would be resurrected later, but with you, it was a very different matter. You were a threat even to demon lords. In your presence, the other were agitated, uneasy. Ah, well, I found everything I wanted to know. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, commanding guests, we got one more companion quest to do, and that's Ninios, and that's going to take super long. And I mean super long. Just to make sure. Oh. Aha. Okay, we already... Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and it takes about like three. So we're at... Uh, how many pages does it normally take to get a con get a convo from the storyteller? It's like three or four. Because if it's three, three times six, that's um. Might be 18. Which means we need three more pages. Possible. Or at least one more page. Something.
Okay. Okay, so Okay, looks like Huh Hmm. Unless it only takes about two pages. I think I missed any pages. Um. Okay, so there's still one at the uh, final veil. I think, unless I already did the final veil. Ah, great. Ah, fantastic. <clears throat> now I gotta go check the final veil real quick. Last it. Um, there's the name of this ruins. We got 23 hours to get to here. It's gonna take a full day. Spies reported that the enemy is preparing a series of attempts on the officers' lives. The generals are asking the commander to take precautions and protect the loyal servants. Well, we definitely need that, I believe. We only need to wait for this to finish up the logistics, because logistics is done. So yeah, I definitely need a military. Good God, really? Wow. Not really necessary, but... Oh, wait a minute. Um... Okay. You probably gained a lot of experience.
Oh, I see how you are. Jesus. <clears throat> All right. There's that. Got yeah, you leveled up. You give me you. Um. Okay. <laughs> you could definitely get three more units. Oh my god. Uh, let's see something. Boop, boop, boop. Oh dear. Oh, it only goes up by five. Rude. What if I just, what if I actually up it entirely? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll take it. 